So the M1X MacBook Pros are right around the corner and in this video I'm going to break down the 14 and the 16 inch model, all the leaks, all the things that we know are confirmed and let's start off with the price of the 14 inch models. Basically the 14 inch model is going to be broken down into four different price ranges depending on what kind of storage you want for your MacBook Pro. The first level is going to be the 512 gigabyte. That's going to start at $1,800. Then we're going to bump it up to one terabyte, which is going to be $2,000. Then the next level is going to be two terabytes, which is going to be $2,400. And then finally the four terabyte model that's going to come out at $3,000. So if you're looking for more storage, you're going to have to pay a lot of extra, but this is internal storage in-house from Apple. It's going to be the fastest RAM. It's going to be faster than external SSD. Now, when it comes to the silicon inside of this 14 inch MacBook Pro, we're looking at a second generation M1 chip, which is going to be the M1X. You're looking at a 10 core CPU and a 16 or 32 core GPU. In terms of RAM, you're looking at three different configurations. We're looking at 16, 32, and 64 gigs of RAM. Connectivity wise, we're looking at a lot this year. So we're looking at a new MagSafe connector, three USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI 2.1 port, and an SD card slot for all you creatives who want to shoot video or shoot photos and edit without having to carry dongles around all day. And then we got one of the biggest features that's not really talked about, but I'm excited for, which is a 12 megapixel camera on the front with center stage. Now for the longest time, MacBook Pros have had the worst webcams, but this year Apple's gonna step it up a notch with people working from home and, and being on video chat more. They're actually bringing a decent webcam to this year's MacBook Pro. When it comes to the screen, Apple never disappoints. This year we're looking at a 14 inch XDR liquid retina, mini LED ProMotion display with 120 Hertz. Will the 120 Hertz come to the MacBook Pro? I don't know, but that is a feature that I keep seeing pop up over and over from multiple different leakers. So I threw it in there, but for the most part, I don't think 120 Hertz is coming, but I do have to include it there because it is something that I'm seeing pop up over and over. When it comes to battery size, we're looking at a 6,068 milliamp hour battery, which is gonna give you all day plus battery life. If you think the M1 chip gave people long battery life, wait until you give Apple a whole year to refine their process and make it a lot more efficient. This year, we're probably gonna be looking at way better battery life because this is Apple's second chance, second at bat at their in-house silicon. So I'm really excited to see how optimized these new MacBook Pros are gonna be with this M1X chip. So when it comes to the 16 inch MacBook Pro, a lot of things are gonna be the same. The only thing we're getting different on this new MacBook Pro, the 16 inch, is obviously we're gonna get a bigger screen with a resolution of 3072 by 1920. We're also gonna be getting a bigger battery because you have a bigger enclosure, more space for a battery. You're still gonna get that all day battery life. But this year with the new 16 inch, we're looking at a battery size of 8,693 milliamps which is gonna last you at least two days. When we look at the price of the 16 inch MacBook Pro, we're gonna get a bigger enclosure, bigger screen, so obviously it's gonna cost a little bit more, and you are gonna get some higher storage options as well. So the base model 16 inch MacBook Pro is gonna start out at $2,400 for the 512 gigabyte model, then it bumps up to one terabyte for 2,600, then we're looking at 3,000 for the two terabyte model, 3,600 for the four terabyte model, and lastly, the big daddy, the max capacity, which is eight terabytes, you're looking at $4,800, which after tax is gonna be well into the $5,000 mark for a loaded 16 inch redesigned M1X MacBook Pro. That's a little bit too steep for me, guys. I don't know about you if you're rolling in the dough, which MacBook Pro you guys plan on getting, or if you plan on keeping your old MacBook Pros. Now, when it comes to the Apple event, is the Apple event gonna happen in October or November? I say cross your fingers for October, but bank on November because this year everything is delayed. Be it from the chip shortage, sourcing materials, logistics, everything is going to be delayed this year. So even if Apple does announce the products in October, they're gonna be delayed until late November, early December. So I think Apple is gonna play it safe this year. They're gonna have an October announcement, but the event is actually gonna happen in November. That's just me. I've been reading a lot of leaks. I've been seeing a lot of things from different people. And I can tell you right now, a lot of people have their fingers crossed for October, but the event is most likely gonna happen in early November and the products are gonna be coming out a week or two after the event. Before I let you go, make sure to like the video. I appreciate the engagement. Check out some of my older videos. If you click on this video, you're probably gonna like some of my older stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.